credit where credit is due. Most of the tunes so far definitely are Paul's, and uh, and that's your name, right? Huh? Paul? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, and uh, he's done most of the, I mean, probably, what, 70% of the production as far as building the tracks and whatever, and they're fucking awesome, stupidly awesome. So we're just, like, grinding them out every day, you know, minimal sleep, maximum work. My mobile Mac that I use for going around and recording mobile sessions. I've got a similar but more advanced um, desktop version for my main studio, but essentially I've got all the plugins and things that I'd normally use on board for tracking, um, not essentially for mixing, but everything I need to do on that uh, for programming and tracking. A pair of monitors here, really similar, just near field monitors. We've got a good audio interface, channel Channel and Neve is a preamp which we go through and an RME interface which is the audio interface. Nothing very different from anything you'd use in... Things have changed so much now. If you've got a good audio interface, you've got good preamps, you've got good software, you've got a good pair of monitors, decent mic. Mm, yeah, it got, <laughs> got techy. Um, what the, the main thing that's changed is, you know, I can get in the back of a car take all this shit around totally. and be set up That's in what we, just did, yeah. we we moved studios we've been in another studio for three days four days this then week. they found out we were there and yeah they found out. out so we moved here today it took 20 minutes to set yeah. up and yeah. we're we're here and, and working. working yeah working totally yeah. usually the the difference for me is usually it's in a super posh studio i have somebody pressing the buttons and i have somebody that i can smack in the back of the head when i make a yeah mistake. yeah that's i mean again though I, I yeah i I, <laughs> I have a recording gimp <laughs> that is that's another thing about this I week as well <laughs> i mean we've had dave engineering for a bit which has been great yeah. but actually i've enjoyed this kind of um yeah Reach across, yeah, press right, the yeah, stop button. Yeah, Use yeah, your get toe. Yeah. <laughs> what uh, do I do? <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's just added to the almost garage feel of it, isn't it? But garage feel. Done with, by professionals. Yeah, professional standard top kit in a room that's like 10 foot square, you know. Yeah, and then, I mean, yeah, and but I mean, the other place was definitely bigger than this. And I mean, it's all, it's just about fucking, I mean, but I do actually, I think I totally agree that, like, you know, kind of doing it on the fly, quote unquote, it's yeah, kind of yeah. like it does. I mean, it takes me personally out of my, you know, uh, oh, the guys are showing up at, you know what I mean? It's yeah, all yeah. kind of like, you know, hey, can you fucking move that tree for me or whatever? You know? I remember a few years back reading uh, a thing about Nickelback. Mm -hmm. And um, that they'd got basically this kind of setup on their tour bus. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, and I at that point, that. to me, that was like because technology at that point that was probably a two hundred grand investment, probably and you're there the thinking, oh, wankers. Yeah, <laughs> fuck those guys. <laughs> yeah, I love success, but not for them. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> but no, you know, you you've got that envy thing, and and I'd got the facility to do that in my studio but i couldn't go fucking anywhere and do it it was it's all locked down tied you couldn't you couldn't go anywhere but now i'm in that position you know right uh, exactly for tenth Where somebody of else budget, is just you know? hating you fucking seeing this yeah video. Oh, no, fuck that guy with his macbook me. pro fucking yeah. Guy, fuck, yeah. fuck Miro. There's yeah. gonna be T-shirts at the shows. Yeah. It's gonna be I love Alex and fuck Miro. Yeah, and it'll all be tacky guys that envy your knowledge. I'll be wearing a fuck Miro shirt. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. With okay. instead of I'm with stupid, I'll be fuck Miro. With <laughs> yeah, Miro. But no, you say I am stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was really interested to see because we got kind of those areas of our voices that have got similar ranges. Mm, no question. We're but like, tracking. we'll listen to takes and shit, and I'll be like, oh man, wait, I still got to get on that. And then he'll go, well, we're listening to you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Which is weird because I don't have like the bluesy, raspy thing that you do. But right. I mean, like, particularly when we're singing in tandem and stuff, it's, yeah. it's definitely weird to differentiate who's Quite what. Quite uncanny. And it's kind of like. It, Which is weird. Two right? voices sound like four when uh, yeah. you know, there's that choral thing going mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're giving away all our secrets, man. Like for what Paul does for like real music and soulfulness and whatever I do for abstract nonsense and somehow the two together make for like, oh, hey, wait a minute, that's uh, kind of, that's, uh, that's not traditional. Hey, that's not just a bunch of abstract bullshit. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So together it kind of like, uh, I think we sort of complement each other in that sense. Big time. Where, Big time. You know, I mean, because yeah. what's going on in my brain is definitely like not 
to be absorbed exclusively 100% by one. I mean, although I love anti-product, but I mean, that couldn't be more um, divisive or whatever. Right. You know what I mean? Either right. you're into it or you fucking think it's yeah, Nicole yeah. Kidman and you hate it more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I know. Yeah. You think it's You're Nicole right. Kidman. You're right. It is. A, it's, it's, it's polarizes. Yeah, oh, totally. It polarizes. And Absolutely. I guess Absolutely. there'll be an element of that in this, but this is going to have broad appeal, I think. There's mm. going to be a, a lot of people who dig this who um, perhaps wouldn't. Like go to oh I mean for sure, do, but know. I mean which is the other thing though I mean for whatever um, like whatever people do the people that do see something in anti product um, it's not as though this doesn't reflect Absolutely. a bunch of that mentality it's the just people not who quite like as the <sighs> other things that we do are gonna love this oh for fucking but sure a lot of people who perhaps wouldn't are also gonna like it. Direct marketing, not to like, you know, whatever, cheap and things, but I would way rather, like me and you, dude, we go fucking so far back and it's like, you know, uh, like you'd come out to a show and be like, ah, you know, I think your second album kind of blows. Which, well, I know you didn't, but you know what I'm saying? Because you actually so. didn't come out after the first <laughs> album. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, uh, I like that, you know, like if I blow somebody's merch order or whatever, yeah, you know, yeah. the anti product yeah. thing, if somebody orders merch for me, like if I fucking you know, order something through the internet, Amazon, send me a copy of whatever, you know, Keith mm. Richards' autobiography, right? And it doesn't, and then you get on the phone, and you try to order, blah, 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 blah. This way, some kid sends me a fucking email, and he goes, where's my t-shirt, asshole? Mm. Go, oh, dude, I'm sorry, I was on tour, forgive me. But I like the fact, I mean, it's a much smaller number, but, <clears throat> you know, whatever, at least you know, you know, I like to think that the people that are aware of my music, and I don't know if you agree with mm. this, but the people that are aware of my music, I would like to think that they're kind of my friends. Yeah, you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Where it's like, concert, you could I actually, always, yeah. However many weeks or months it takes, I always respond to emails and I'll always Fuck get yeah. back to You know what I mean? Those guys, I mean, it's the same as it's always been. I mean, the reality of the Matt fact is that that's your boss, dude. Fucking answer the fucking email. You know what I mean? And I do like that dynamic. And I mean, I've had a shit ton of major deals. And, you know, I don't even know if I qualify for one anymore. Not that I would necessarily think that would be the right thing for me right now, anyway. Mm -hmm. After this interview, no chance. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> you're, you're as done as Dunn's ever been, bro. You might as well fucking. You love indie. You don't have a choice. <laughs> References that we've made when we've been finding things in common, and it's been like, oh yeah, I, we've obviously listened to a lot. That's the same. It's gotta be. I mean, it's gotta um, be. It's gotta be. I, we've actually never even discussed this. Like, we haven't. We yeah. haven't. A uh, kiss, though. I know you're in a oh, kiss. Oh yeah, yeah. Kiss. I'm in a kiss too, but yeah. I'm American. And you're it's weird Bowie, that too early Bowie, Bowie guy, fucking yeah, Bowie, totally Bowie. can't yeah. wrong with Bowie. And quite a few things we've said. Is, um, Queen for sure. Yeah. But I mean, the stuff sounds more like back. Back yeah. with like Freddie Mercury, well not Freddie, but like Queen's background thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and something else weird. I don't know what though. Not Zappa, but something like that. It's got, there's a Duff, without intention, there's just been kind of Duffs of Capital kind of shit coming out in this. Yeah, and there's weird. like dumb rock too. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. not like we're all like, oh, listen to how intellectual we can be and fucking, this has no primal energy. I mean, because there's definitely like rock. Yeah. Rock guitars, but it's yeah. like if Guns N' Roses, back, Mindless Self Indulgence, okay. and Queen made an album. Okay. It would sound like what we're doing, I think. Yeah. It might be faster if Mindless was involved. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Foxy yeah. Shazam. Foxy Shazam, yeah. yeah. I yeah. love that band, those guys are so good. Yeah, they remind me of Sparks, I don't know. Totally. Yeah. Fucking, I'm, you're in the Sparks? Yeah. I'm all about Sparks. Yeah. Okay, now See, it makes sense. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah, this band ain't big enough for the both of us. <laughs>